beautiful virgo welcome into the gifted hermit if you are new to the channel hello 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 oh i just felt like saying something before we start into this reading in life we can't please everybody virgo just remember that you cannot please everybody why am i saying that maybe i'm nitpicking but it's just you know just the key phrase you can't please everybody in life like somebody in the comments will say oh you're too quiet and then somebody will say can you move away from the microphone because you're too loud that's just an example so yeah if anything from this reading take away that you can't please everybody in life Virgo okay and it's okay to say no sometimes as well so in this reading I'm going to pick up on past present and future energies oh the future energy I was quite confused so we're going to need well I got clarification for at least two of the cards if you can hear my son in the background I do apologize he's on his console so past energy please remember to give a thumbs up if you find that it resonates with you in any way Virgo from one Virgo to another it's all love I'm not here to judge you know eight of swords on the back of your screen there on the left hand side eight of swords man you guys this is past energy we're talking about past right now okay so just chill you was holding on to something you were all up in your mind and let me show you the illustration because sometimes you know anybody can do tarot right look at her now can you see how loosely that rope is that bandage is around her even around her face she could probably, if she shook her head, it would come off and she could see shit. He or she, no social preference for what it is, yeah? This is a false, a false sense of entrapment. You, Virgs, were all up in your mind, you know? Um, you were stuck. You were stuck, stuck, stuck. Mentally. It, it, and, and because of that, you are unable to be your normal self. Your normal self is all about your money or you know you can be very grounded very focused very artistic and articulate and creative that was all that was out the window oh this was recent past last year last month take it as it applies if you're here now this reading is probably meant for you yep you were holding on to something and i'll tell you something it's all love the four of pentacles in reverse you guys were holding on to something that wasn't yours for some of you and you know really honest virgos are honest with themselves you know that you were holding on to something that wasn't yours to hold on to whether it was an idea it was something that was forced perhaps you were giving too much and that's what look it didn't turn out great i know that for a fact because it, it's now we're going anyway i'm jumping ahead past energy you were all up in your head you was holding on to shit your head mentally wasn't right and that made you have a creative block it was hard for you to move forward okay and yeah you were holding on to something that didn't serve you wasn't yours take it as applies now move that was the past that's the past you know moving into the now Virgs, queen of pentacles uh, nine of pentacles and the page of cups so for now that really just suggests to me that there's a lot of virgos that are viewing this that are single right now all about their money you know a lot of virgos are really kind of focused focus on their career focus on their selves being nice to yourselves you know whether it's buying yourself new stuff uh, painting your nails it could be anything little cleaning you know virgo is very good at cleaning it's very good for us to get out of our mind we clean we listen to music that type of stuff now the page of cups suggests to me that whether it's happening or not it's going to be happening very soon that page of cups is something new texas okay remember we are still in mercury retrograde okay so be very mindful of these texts especially if it's people that you have already had some sort of connection with already okay it can also signify new people with the page of cups there a new beginning definitely messages with regards to love i feel like if anyone's got their eye on you they got their eye on you because you are you virgo like i'm not trying to patronize it i'm not trying to say we're the best we're only human right but when you get back to yourself and your head starts to become more clear and level-minded and you're becoming more grounded and you're just getting back to your your natural characteristics and becoming more confident in your own skin, however you want to take it, you will attract people, okay? 
So that's good. If you're in a good frame of mind, you're going to attract good people. But yeah, be very mindful of that page of cups. Now, the bottom of the deck here for the Rider Waite deck, look, I really feel like there was just talking on what you're unaware of, okay, when we talk about the bottom of the deck, somebody made the wrong choice, I feel. Somebody's out of balance. They had a lot of love to give. We've got a lot of water energy here. It keeps coming up for a lot of um, Virgos, but this person was hot and cold, okay, and you guys disconnected. However, they still think about you. They really still think about the connection, whether, you know, this is what you're unaware of, whether you've been thinking about them or not. Now, let's go into the future energy. Now, beautiful, beautiful. Ten of Cups. Then the Tower card. Then the Page of Cups, um, the Page of Pentacles in reverse. And I'm like, what the heck? What is this? What are you trying to tell me, spirit? So there's two ways I think to see this, folks. Now, unexpected happiness coming in. And you learning something new, learning from all the crap that you've been through, getting back to yourself. Sorry, I just had to pause the video there and tell my son, can he, um, the Frank Sinatra in the background, just, just chill. Sorry, another interruption. <laughs> so yeah, Ten of Cups, where was we? And a Tower card, and I'm just thinking, what is this? Is this unexpected happiness? And with this unexpected happiness coming in, there's something new, something fresh. It's, it's, there's, there's like something that you're going to learn from. You're going to learn from past mistakes. Well, I hope you do. There's a need to learn from past mistakes. Now, I had to get the Tower card clarified, of course, and... The hyphen came off and I'm thinking, oh, whew, unexpected engagement, unexpected announcement, something beautiful. Then the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So, hmm. it's, it's a difficult one. I must say it's a difficult one. So to have it clarify the Tower card, I'm thinking something unexpected, okay? It's going to come, it's going to hit you like a bolt. We don't need any more bad towers. We've had enough Virgo. Okay, so you're probably going to come to some sort of realization here. Mm -hmm. Now, there's lots of ways to see this. Okay, there was another way that I wanted to see this Virgo, and it doesn't matter if you are a man or a woman, this new connection for some of you, this unexpected tower moment, you may find out that this person actually has a family. Or something like that. So be very mindful. Because remember we still have Mercury retrograde. And we also still have Venus. The planet of love in retrograde. So just be very mindful. Don't make any sudden rash decisions. Over the next two to three weeks. Just let everything go in its stride. Let things unravel. And see how shit turns out. So this Ten of Cups. I clarified it. And it's quite funny actually. Because... We got the King and the Queen of Swords on this reading. So there is a there is a union here. Now, whether it's your union or someone else's union is still yet to be to be found out. Okay. But yeah, we got the lovers card, the page of wands, and the knight of cups here. You you can't see it, it's off the screen. So I'm thinking to myself, this unexpected person. This is a possibility, okay? This unexpected person really wants to take action with you, Virgo. But they're thinking, they're not rushing. You know, they, they're going to take action. They want to take action. But they're thinking how maybe they're being quite withdrawn right now or laid back. Uh, you're, you're kind of unaware of this, Virgo. But I do feel like somebody most certainly wants to be with you. You know, or have a piece of the pie, whatever it is. Just be very mindful of the energies that you you let around you, right? It's just, it's that plain and simple. You've been through so much already. You've been all up in your mind. You know, you are focused now. And love's always going to be around. You're always going to attract people because you are a Virgo. <laughs> you know, you have that grace about you, that nurturing vibe. That people are so drawn to because people are drawn to TLC, to love. People want love. They want to be cared for. And that's what we're really good at. That's what we're really good at. So, but just be mindful because of the positions of the planets and all that you've been through. Right? 
there's a good quality right now with the energy around you just stay focused on yourself and yeah just be just be very mindful look you're gonna so i think someone wants to have a conversation with you you definitely got um somebody that is that's watching you whether it's from afar or close okay um there's also somebody that this person you know that they they find it hard to let you go because they didn't get their closure somebody needs closure here somebody needs to know where they stand i don't know who that is could be you could be somebody else I'm going to leave it there. I'll probably do another reading. As always, thank you so much for the freaking continued support. Like, you guys are the best. You can book me for a personal reading. I've, you know, I've been busy. Book me for a personal reading. If any of you guys are having issues with regards to money, then usually it's down to your attitude with money. If you haven't got a good attitude with money, then that's probably the main cause of why you're having money issues. But, um... A majority of Virgos don't really have that issue. But if you do, then you can connect with me. You can get in touch with me on Instagram, Facebook. I don't mind talking. I also have a WhatsApp service available. Um, it's a quick service. It's a paid service if you want a tarot reading. But WhatsApp is not just there for that. It's also there to connect with you guys, you know. We are humans. We're supposed to connect. We're social beings, okay? We're not meant to be alone fact i hope you enjoyed this reading and you found it somewhat insightful freaking love you guys as always be kind to others but most importantly be kind to you and i'll catch you on the rebound Mwah.